Welcome to the Blizz Show, brought to you by New Wave Productions. I'm Tom Terra. I'll be with you all season, where we sit down with a Blizzard player, talk about their hometown, a little bit about their personal life, as well as talk about the games from last weekend and the games coming up in the coming weekend. Um, today, I have Bud Winter with me. Bud, thanks for coming on. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Happy to be Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Bud, of course, captain of your St. Cloud Blizzard. Where's the C on that uniform? Uh, Bud, we'll, we'll start out with this. Um, you're from Missouri originally. You lived yep. in Florida. You lived in Missouri. Yep. Um, what is hockey like in Missouri? Obviously, it's probably not Minnesota level, but is it is it still strong there? Is it still a big presence? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, growing up, I played for the Athens Americans as a kid, and then uh, I played for the AAA Blues for a little bit, and then I played for my high school um, all four years. We actually got to do both, so you didn't have to play either high school or club. You could play. Okay. You could play both, so that was awesome. Um, yeah, it was just great. Yeah, it, and absolutely. Um, talk about the high school career a little bit. He scored 136 points in 86 career games. Uh, assistant coach Casey Minone walks by. <laughs> um, uh, you won back to back to back to back mid state championships. Um, was it fun putting up those big numbers and having, having that success, or did you kind of always strive to have a little bit more competition? Yeah, I mean, it was great. Um, Those were awesome four years. Yeah. uh, Just, it was a lot of fun, and our teams were great and had a lot of buddies. I mean, you're playing playing with your buddies you go to school with Mm -hmm. and for all the fans, and it was just a great time, and it was always fun to push yourself and be able to play at the high school level and AAA, and for Athens growing up, it was was just a good time. Good, absolutely. Um, What was it like, obviously, you wear the C, what was it like to get that, um, captain from Coach Momantha. What, what was what was the conversation like, and and how does it feel? Yeah, it was a, it was a great it's a great honor to be able to, to be a captain with these guys, and um, it's just awesome. He called. Uh, we did a little vote throughout the team where mm-hmm. you write down on a on a little note card on who we were voting for, and a couple of days went by, and he called uh, me and Brock and Greener and uh, Wardo into his office and told us and. It was great, and it's really honored to be able to be able to help lead these guys. Yeah, absolutely. You do a good job at it. Um, what does a team captain do that most people don't know about, or the average hockey fan doesn't know about? Uh, just the little things. I mean, obviously, being a vocal leader out there and being able to being able to say things that hopefully you can get through the whole team. Maybe not coming from the coach. It's a little easier yeah. coming from one of your from one of your teammates and. Um, just like leading, leading through being vocal and leading by example. Just mm-hmm. trying to be the best I can be, so guys can, guys can see that and follow, follow suit. And hopefully, what I'm doing is is uh, is good, so yeah. so they can follow. It's the that. way the coach wants yeah. it to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure, absolutely. Um, you went from Corpus Christi to Brookings, now to St. Cloud. How are all of those communities different, and how are they all the same? Like, uh, what are the similarities as you go from town to town? And what are the differences? Yeah, um, in Corpus, it was great. I mean, community's great. That's kind of how it is everywhere you go for yeah. junior hockey. You see the community comes around and and uh, kind of just gathers around us and really cares. And you can tell when you're out in the community, people care. And um, it, that's that's kind of one thing that you can kind of see every every junior town you go to. It's it's awesome that everyone welcomes us in. The Billet families have been great mm-hmm. everywhere I've been gotten very lucky with that and yeah just just everyone being able to welcome you in and just make you feel at home i i couldn't agree with you more and then the differences are the weather yeah, yeah. <laughs> corpus corpus Obviously, corpus christi it was, the weather was you're wearing shorts a little bit more yeah than you uh yeah yeah so when i got traded i actually had to have my parents meet meet me in brookings because i didn't have a i didn't have a jacket like, I didn't you didn't have, have a winter coat you didn't, or... i didn't have gloves i didn't have a hat i didn't have a winter coat i had Sandals and and, that's uh, funny. and shorts and a t-shirt. But, so yeah. they helped you out a little yeah, bit with yeah, that. They came and <laughs> that's brought a, me some clothes. That's awesome. Um, what do you like to do other than hockey? Do you have any hobbies? Any collect yeah. anything? Like what? What do you, do you like to do? Uh, I really enjoy playing golf. Okay. So in the summers, it's kind of what my days consist of: is working out or skating, and then going to play golf. Oh, awesome! So yeah, I'm a big golfer in the summers. Don't really get to play much here, obviously. But yeah, no. It's not a bit. It's a good. It's good to uh, get away in the summer and play some golf and hang out with friends. But other than that, not 
Not really too much. Nope. Good to get your mind off it. Yeah. Um, did you, like, uh, so obviously, I don't know if you played competitive golf, but did you play any other I, sports growing up, like, in St. Louis? Um, I played baseball until about 14 or 15. Okay. Probably even younger, 13 or 14. And then kind of had to pick between yep. uh, competitive baseball or competitive hockey, and obviously I chose hockey. And I played golf uh, for four years in high school. Oh, you did? Which okay. was great. Okay. Didn't really overlap that much with hockey, and yeah. my coaches were pretty – they kind of they kind of knew that hockey came first. Mm-hmm. And I actually made it to the state tournament for golf my junior year. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. yeah, that was a good time. Sweet. And then I played roller hockey. We had a roller hockey team. Oh, that's yeah, we sweet. actually won state my senior year too. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, awesome. It was a lot of the uh, ice hockey guys just decided, "Hey, we're gonna play roller hockey." And that's sweet. Yeah, it was fun. But other than that, no. What's your What's your best uh, um, round of golf ever? Um, in a tournament or in like just for fun? We'll say in a tournament. Well, in more a tournament, serious. I shot one under par seventy. When I was a sophomore in high school. And was it a uh, easy course, medium course, hard course? It wasn't like super easy, but it wasn't like terribly okay. hard either. That's, but, that's yeah. still impressive. That's, yeah, that's, was, a, that's, that's a, a good, good round. round. Dang. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, a lot of hockey players, a lot of the, your teammates are gamers. Are you a gamer? Do you, do you play any all, video honestly. games? I don't even own a gaming system. Really? Okay. Yeah, last year I lived with Brock, and that was probably the most video games I've played <laughs> in my life because we would just sit after practice, and he would play, and I would sometimes play. But other than that, I, yeah. I don't even own a gaming system. That, that's, yeah. that's good I never you. really got into it as a kid. I never really, I don't know. I it sucks you in. Thing. So it sucks you in. So you did, yeah. you're doing the right thing. You're doing the yeah, right yeah, thing. I guess. Um, who is your favorite hockey player? Who do you emulate your game after? Um, recently, I've been saying Pat Maroon. Um, okay. St. Louis guy. I don't know yeah. if you know the story. Oh, Played yeah. for the Blues last year. Mm-hmm. Kind of a bigger guy. Good locker room guy. Like heavy presence. Always on the ice. And. He's just a great guy, and uh, she had to try to play like him. Okay. Was there a, like a star player that you liked growing up when you were a little kid? I like Brett Hall. Brett Hall. When I was tw- number 16, kind of. Okay. Not 100% reason why I'm number 16, but watching him. Like, my dad was a Blues fan. Okay. Family's from St. Louis. Fair. So, yeah, he was one of them. Um, I like Steve Eiserman. Okay. I used to use his curve when I was a, when I was a young <laughs> okay. kid on a, wood, yeah. a wooden stick. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh yeah, other than that, okay, not really. Those are two really good names. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, who is your hero? Who is your idol? It doesn't have to be someone who played hockey, but who is your like hero in life? Hero in life. Gee, that's a tough one. Um, hero in life. I'd probably say my dad. Um, just always, just work, just worked hard his whole life. Just to, he does everything for his family and mm-hmm. for me and my sisters and my mom. Just always, he's always on. He's always on our side. He's always uh, doing what's best for us, and yeah. says he always. He's always there for us, and just a great guy. That's always, yeah. He's always been there for me. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great to hear. Um, what is your most memorable hockey moment? What's that's that back of your head like? Jeez, moment. Something you can almost picture. Probably my senior year um, in high school when we won state. We. We had kind of a rough year. We didn't. We weren't really supposed to win state. Mm-hmm. We got. We lost a few times that year, and then came to the state championship, and we ended up winning pretty good versus the team we lost to earlier in the season a couple times. Wow! And that was just. It was a lot of fun. I mean, to get four in a row with your class. Yeah. And it was just a lot of fun. And it's crazy. Just a great way to end it. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet it was. Do you yeah. have rings? Where, where are the yeah, rings? I have four rings actually. Do you ever walk them around and just wave them no. in everyone's face? I I wore them at graduation, and that was it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Hicks could throw one in your face. I'm pretty yeah. sure with Minnetonka. Yeah. But but you got four. Yeah. I mean, they're sitting in my room back home in St. Louis. So they're kind of right. just sitting there in a the box, <laughs> Fair. collecting dust. <laughs> uh, we'll head to the hockey games now. Um, last week, up and down, but um, it ended up. Um, we played two games, lost seven to two on Friday to Bismarck, but then rallied back on Saturday, got a two to one big win. Bud had a big, big goal to tie that one up on the shorthanded, the great feed from Zach and you finished it off. Um, what was going through your head on that shorthanded goal, um, in, in the third period? Yeah, the puck just bounced out and I kind of had control of it, uh, in our zone and I was kind of waiting, waiting, trying to kill as much time as I could. Then I just ripped it down and tried to wrap it around and Zach worked hard and beat the guy to the puck and I noticed he had like three guys on him yeah. three or four guys I don't remember exactly and he's just wheeling and dealing behind yeah. the net 
and I was just like, just started skating, skating, and I realized that I was all alone in front and made a great feed and yeah. just caught it and looked up and shot and I guess got lucky and went in. <laughs> lucky, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll call it luck. Yeah, we'll but call it luck. It, it was a great pass and a yeah. great finish and it really brought brought life into the whole arena, including yeah. into the team. I mean, that was a huge goal. And then obviously later, um, uh, Drager yeah. buried one home. And we, got, we got the big two to one win. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about your goaltender. Uh, Metcalf had a bounce back game on Saturday, to say the least, he had 34 saves. Um, what does it do for a team when a goalie is standing on his head like he was um, pretty much the whole entire game? Yeah, we know we know he has it in him. I mean, he's a great goalie. and. We could tell early that he was he was locked in. He was ready to go. We knew we could we knew we could uh, we could we could trust him back there. And he made some unbelievable saves. It just gave us so much momentum. Mm-hmm. When your goalie makes a save like that, and you can go down the ice and put a goal in or something, and just get the momentum back. It's just huge, huge yeah. for the whole team. So it's a momentum booster for everybody, yeah. including I think the stands. Yeah, I mean, I agree. the goals are just as energetic, but mm-hmm. sometimes a big save can get more out of your fans too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Obviously, we just finished our five-game playoff, random playoff in the yeah, middle of the season exactly. with the Bobcats. Are you okay with not seeing the Bobcats until mid-January? What is it like to play that t- tough of a team five games in a row? Yeah, um, tensions get high. Obviously, you yeah. saw last weekend we had a few, or maybe it was the weekend before. I don't even know we've played them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, tensions get high, and I mean they're a great team, and I think we proved that. I mean, they're top of our division right now. We proved that we can play with them. They've mm-hmm. lost, I think, what, three games this year? Yeah. Two of them are from us. Yeah. So, I mean, we prove that if we can, if we can bring it, that we can play with them. If we play our structure, that that we can beat anybody at any night. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I mean, you could see it last, last Saturday. It was yeah. huge two to one win. Um, talking about that, uh, next week, we're up in Minot, Turkey weekend, yeah. Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, we're up in Minot, Friday and Saturday games against the Minotauros. Um, can Saturday's win be a launching pad for, maybe not even the whole season, but for at least the next couple series? Can this be a launching pad where we can focus on that game, play like that, that's the key to success? Yeah, I think we, uh, I don't think we should dwell on it too much, but obviously we need to We need to know like what we need to bring to the table every night to win a hockey game. And yeah. I think that maybe brought a little confidence in yeah. some guys that saying, okay, we can play this game, we can win these games. And so hopefully we can we can take that confidence and just keep playing really well and win some more hockey games, string some wins together. Yeah. Um, how does Minot play differently than Bismarck and how, what's the formula to beating them? Yeah, um, Bismarck's got a lot of skill up front and uh, there's a really good team all around. Their goaltending's great. And I mean, Minot's also a great team, but I think Minot plays a little grittier, okay. a little uh, don't have as much have as much skill, and so we just got to play simple and not really change the game plan too much. Okay. Uh, maybe a few things, but really not change too much. Just play hard nose hockey and simple hockey. Yep. And this is the question I always ask at the end of the interview um, portion: What has Coach Mantha's message been this week in practice for the upcoming games against Minot? Yeah, to just keep working hard and keep working at our game and mm-hmm. keep working on our structure and how we want to play the game and basically just playing simple and dumping pucks, good dumps, yeah. smart dumps, and just playing smart and playing simple hockey. Absolutely. I, I, bet, I bet Mo would agree with that. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> well, to the, the fun part, at least the players like this part, the player polls, um, you have to can't give one word answers. Got to explain everything thoroughly. Um, might have to throw some teammates under the bus like Hicks did last weekend. Yeah, okay. Made fun of Suki about five times in oh, that in, in one. Watch that one if you want to <laughs> laugh. Um, we'll start with the top of the list. Who's the biggest ladies man on the team? Oh geez, the biggest ladies man. Um, probably have to say. I don't know. I, I look at O'Neal's phone sometimes when he's sitting by me and he's just Snapchatting like 15 different girls. So I guess we'll give give O'Neal that. Sorry if he's got one girl back home. That I'm getting him in trouble here, but I don't know. He's just always Snapchatting a bunch of people. So All right. Say he's the biggest ladies man. Okay, O'Neal. Uh, who's the best gamer that you've heard of? Uh, the best gamer. Yeah, like I said, I don't play much, but pretty sure uh, I know Dregs is pretty good. Um. Uh, yeah, we go with Brock. Brock, all right, yeah. all right. Uh, 
So this is the one that you've ran away with. Um, who's the dad of the team? Who's the most responsible? Oh, uh, yeah. So I've heard that every single person has voted me. Yeah. No, that hasn't been. And, and they've actually, talked about that. Yeah, I actually got this hat um, <laughs> as a gag gift from uh, Brady Bjork last year, Secret Santa. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll wear that hat every once in a while. <laughs> I don't know. Are you, are you going to vote for yourself or do you think someone else is the dad of the team? Yeah, I guess I'll vote for myself. <laughs> yeah, and I'll keep the <laughs> keep the string alive. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta win out. You gotta, you gotta yeah, sweep exactly. it. Um, who is the biggest nerd? Oh, the biggest nerd. See, that's a tough one. I don't, know. I don't even know. I mean, we'll go with Sandre. Sandre, Sandre yeah. your roommate, right? Yeah, Sandre. He's, he's, I don't say he's a nerd. He's just a smart kid. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's part of being a yeah, nerd. Yeah. 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 He, he's just a really smart kid. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give him, he's, I mean, coming to America, I mean, I'd yeah. give him some, yeah. I'd be screwed if I went Still to working America. on his English, though, but yeah, he's, but but he's really smart. Good. He's, he's Norwegian good. smart. Yeah, yeah. His English yeah. is good, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, who's got the best hair on the team? Best hair? Um, probably Wardo. Wardo? Oh, he's got, he's got some good hair. Everyone says Ward, but they can't tell me why it's Ward. They oh, say he's, he's, like just, long, he's just he's got, got a like mess. Long hair. Yeah. I don't know. I would say Brady, but his hair is kind of like, I don't know. It's always messy. And yeah. if, if he gets it going, it's not bad, but yeah, probably Wardo. Okay. Ward. Um, who has the best style, the best fashion on the team? Best style. <laughs> Brady Bjork's right behind the camera trying yeah. to follow right yeah. him. Yeah. Um, style, style. Greener's got good style. Yeah. Luke's got good style. I will say a toss up between those two guys. Okay, but we'll give we'll give him half a vote. Uh, who's the team goon? Who's who's the who's the big fighter, the big hitter? Who's the team goon? Dregs. Dregs? Brock Dreger. Kids a mess out there. Yeah. I wouldn't want to get in front of him. I mean he's been in one fight and he's won one fight, so he's won No, hasn't he been in two? Has he been year? in two this week, year or one? Yeah, he's had two this year. He's had two this year. You're yeah, right. One you're where right. he stood up for me when I when me and uh, Hillman ran into each other. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I was down for the count. That's right. Came in, and then he got the guy on Wilderness, too. Yeah? Yeah, I'd oh, say he, Brock. He got that guy. Yeah. Killed that guy. <laughs> um, talk a little bit about uh, who's the locker room clown? Who's the biggest goof on the team? Probably Aquero. Yeah. He's always saying something. He's always joking around about <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Probably Luke. Yeah, I can definitely tell that. Um Who's got the worst taste in music? Luke. Because he sewered me for that one and said my music was terrible because he doesn't <laughs> like country music, so I'm going Luke there again. It's okay. <laughs> Shooting right back at him. Uh, who's got the best shot on the team? Best shot, best shot. Uh, we got a bunch of guys with really good shots. Um, oh, that's a tough one. Max Johnson's got a good shot. Max? Got a really good shot, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll go I'll with go Max with then. Max, yeah. uh, who's got the best handles on the team? O'Neal, probably. O'Neal? O'Neal's got sneaky quick with hands, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, who's the fastest skater? Drags. Drager? Yeah. Everyone might not believe it, but when he gets going, <laughs> like maybe not like quick start, but when he gets going, he's the fastest skater. I, I've, laughed, I've laughed every time because the people say this, Every single time you say it's Drager, true. but you wouldn't think it, but it's Brock Drager. So. Probably like off the start, probably like O'Neill or Wardle or okay. someone yeah. like quick like that. Yeah. But like ten strides in, like full full length of the ice, he's yeah. the fast. Okay, all right. I don't know why he's just crazy. Like that. I think he just took over the lead with that vote. So, <laughs> um, who's got the best nickname on the team? See, I don't know. Um, I've heard that your new nickname is Butter. Yeah, that's, that hasn't really stuck. <laughs> so, is that what Luke said last week? Yeah. yeah. Like a couple yeah. weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, I don't know. Most of the nicknames right now are pretty... Hockey. They're hockey nicknames. Yeah. Either you had a Y or an ER. Yeah. There's none really that... <laughs> Souk Boots. Boots. Yeah. Call them Souk Boots. Probably Souk Boots. Okay. Yeah, right. Just boots. boots, whatever you want yeah. to call them. All right. Um, who's got the... This is a new one we're adding in. Who's got the weirdest pregame ritual? Who's got something weird that they do before every single game? See, or it can even be before practice, too. I don't pay attention that much. Um, Britt does some weird things before the game. Yeah. 
I mean, goalies do some strange things. Yeah. But he's always doing a lot of, like, not that it's weird. Like, he's just doing, like, his stretches. And, like, he looks like he's on. I don't really watch, like, super yeah, close, yeah, but yeah. it looks like he's on, like, a yeah. pretty strict. Uh, right. Like, don't do this, don't do that. Like, yeah. I got to do this and that. So I'd probably say Brit. You got your own ritual, right? I mean, yeah. you're always up in the stands, you tape your sticks. I yeah. tape my stick, and then I do, like, just a bunch of little things. Not, like, super, yeah. super crazy, yeah. but just kind of like a little routine I try to go through. Yeah, so yeah. Brit will get that one. Uh, who's the biggest trash talker? Wardo. Really? On the bench. Okay. <laughs> when he hits the ice, he chirping. zips up. <laughs> not, not as much when he hits the ice, he zips, but, like, on the bench, someone skates by, Wardo's chirping him. Yeah. I noticed that a lot because when we played together, we'd always be standing right next to each other on the bench, and every time you just just chirp, <laughs> chirp left and right. So All right. Probably war- maybe on the ice, probably I don't know. Drags talks a lot on the ice. Yeah. Um, we don't really have like too many like yeah. big chirpers. I don't know. I think maybe the Johnsons do. Yeah, the Johnsons a bit, do. A little yeah, bit. I, yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, we'll give it to the Johnson brothers. Yeah, the Johnson brothers. We'll give it to both of them. Give it to the Hanson brothers. I mean the Johnson brothers. <laughs> Um, who has who two guys have the biggest bromance between each other on the team? Between Luke and Brady or Luke and Greener, it's like a triple bromance. <laughs> it's, like it's, a a little, triple. it's like a little three, <laughs> a little threesome of bromance there. Um, yeah, those three together. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put all three of them in yeah, there. Yeah. Um, Last but not least, who's got the best facial hair? Do you have the best facial hair? No, I actually struggle <laughs> with facial hair. People that know me would know. Um, I don't know. Metcalf had a pretty good mustache. I mean, obviously, this month was yeah, no Mo- shave, November, yeah. November, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, Hixie's got good facial hair. Uh, I got to give it to Metcalf for that mustache yeah. that he had. That was, I mean, it was hideous, but it was it was great. <laughs> it's one of those things where you don't really, you're like, wow, that's cool. But it's like, is that really that cool? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was cool back in the 70s. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It kind of looked like Mo. Mo showed us a pic. We, we look at a picture of Mo back in the day, and he kind of looked like Mo. Yeah, fun fact. Mo, um, according to Winnipeg, has the greatest Winnipeg Jets mustache in history. So that's he that's an actual. Did he tell you that? Or? No, no, it was uh, broadcasted on national TV. So yeah, I believe it. If you see, it's, the, if you see it's a, a picture thing. of him, yes, it, it's a real thing. It's pretty gnarly. <laughs> so that'll about wrap up uh, today's Blizz show. Make sure to tune in next week. We'll have another Blizzard player with us. Don't make sure to come out to our next home game, which is uh, on the seventh of December. It'll be Toys for Tots night. Bring in a toy and you'll get $5 off your uh, admission to the game. Thanks for listening. Have a great rest of your day.